G'day guys, Clarky here. Welcome back to another video, whether you're watching on IGTV, Facebook, or YouTube. Um, the important thing is you clicked on, you're here, you're watching, and I do appreciate that a lot. Now let's talk about a column that I wrote a couple months ago. And I wrote on this column that Matthew Bowen needs a, sta a statue out the front of the new Townsville Stadium that's being created. And the stadium's up now and there's one statue there. And I'm not here to argue that statue because I'd be bloody silly if I did. Jonathan Thurston has his statue at the new Townsville Stadium, and rightfully so. Clive Churchill medalist, possibly the game's greatest ever. Um, you know, Clive Churchill in the mate in their only maiden premiership, captained that premiership, most amount of games in club history. So when we look at who is the second greatest Cowboys player of all time, for me there's two players. It's between Matthew Scott and Matthew Bowen. And for me, it's Matty Bowen. Now let's go with, you know, the fact that Matthew Bowen was an indigenous icon of our game. Young indigenous players that are currently in the NRL grew up emulating, imitating, and wanting to be Matthew Bowen. Uh, without realizing so, and just by doing something he loves, Matty Bowen inspired so many young indigenous kids. And I mean, I'm not indigenous by any standard, and I loved Matty Bowen growing up. He's not just an indigenous icon, he is very much so, but he's also an icon of rugby league in general. His speed, his pace. He is a cowboy through and through. Let's not forget that. You know, he played the second most amount of games ever for the Cowboys. And if I can rewind slightly and just go back to him being an indigenous icon, in my opinion, Matthew Bowen is for young indigenous kids what Benji Marshall is for young Polynesian kids. Young Polynesian boys grow up wanting to flick past and step like Benji Marshall. Well, you know what? Latrell Mitchell, Jesse Ramian, Bevan French, and all the fantastic indigenous men we have in our game, they grew up wanting to be Matty Bowen. Now, I just think he needs a statue at this new Townsville Stadium if you haven't gotten that already. So I'm going to go off about how you can help if you agree. Steve Martin has started a petition which has been sponsored by Mr. Robbie Catter. We can act on this and I'm urging you to. I'm going to have the link on my Facebook page in this video. For YouTube, it will be in the description. And for IGTV, if after this video you go to my Instagram story and swipe up, it'll be there. We can sign this petition, guys, and if you're not convinced as to why you should sign this yet, then let me try and change your mind a little bit more. As a kid, when I thought of the Cowboys, I thought of JT and Matty Bowen. Their fantastic cohesion, they lit up the NRL, and when I watched the Cowboys, I was always watching for them. So for JT to have a statue, but not Matty Bowen, doesn't sit right with me. Two times NRL top try scorer in 2005 and 2007. Cowboys Hall of Fame. 10 and 20th anniversary team fullback of the years. Second most capped cowboy of all time. Australian and Maroons representative. Dallium fullback of the year 2007. The only blight and reason we could possibly argue that Matty Bowen doesn't deserve a statue is the fact he was a grand finalist runner-up in 2005 to the West Tigers. He never brought the Cowboys that premiership, which JT obviously went on to do 10 years later. But that's the only blight on Matthew Bowen's incredible career. Matty Bowen is a Cowboy through and through, guys. Now, playing football for 80 minutes of the week is one part of their job. Off the field, now I'm not sure a lot of people know this, Matthew Bowen has continued to support this club. He coaches their younger grades, and he does so much work off the field for this club. He is a cowboy man through and through. And that was displayed when he came back for the 2016 NRL Nines. He's a life member of the club because when you think of a cowboy in the sense of rugby league, you think of JT and Matty Bowen. Now, I would really hope after watching this video, you guys would want to act on it and sign this petition. Um, I understand if you don't, um, but if you have ever enjoyed my content from any standpoint and you have a spare minute and you want to do it for me, I would appreciate that also because I love Matthew Bowen and I firmly believe he needs a statue out the front of this new Townsville Stadium. So again, shout out to Steve Martin. Thank you so much for bringing this to my attention and for starting this petition, guys. And if you would like to sign it, the link is in the Facebook post, the YouTube description, or my Instagram story. Thanks so much, guys. Let's get Matty Bowen the statue he deserves.